YouTube star turned boxer Logan Paul became a trending topic once again after he declared that a certain potential sport should be adopted by MMA fighters. For today's episode, we'll be talking about Logan Paul, who foresees slap fighting championship as a potential crossover sport for MMA fighters and is working side by side with a prominent icon. Keep on watching if you don't want to miss out on the latest news. Logan Paul teams up with former bodybuilder Arnold Schwarzenegger to promote slap fighting championship. You heard that right. Resident problem child Logan Paul is partnering with movie star and former bodybuilding icon Arnold Schwarzenegger and promoted the Slap Fighting Championship event held last March 5th, which featured the debut of the sport as part of the Arnold Sports Festival that's held at the Greater Columbus Convention Center in Columbus, Ohio. So you may be asking, what is slap fighting? The new sport starts with two players standing across a small table where they will exchange alternating blows on the cheek with an open hand. Both players are given a maximum of three blows per person. The winner is decided by the judge's verdict or via knockout. For Paul, he sees the potential of slap fighting as the next big thing, considering how everyone knows how to slap somebody, although we're not sure if everybody has the knowledge of receiving it. Everyone has been slapping their brothers, sisters, siblings, and cousins since they were three years old, the YouTuber told MMA Junkie via a conference call at the Slap Fighting Championship. Anyone can do that. I think it's an easy way for MMA fighters, influencers, celebrities, or anyone who has this online beef to settle it instantly without having to train for three or four months. Months. But that's not all Paul had to say. He also added that participants could just go and slap the person you have the beef with or the dispute with, and there's an audience because there's something entertaining. Arnold Schwarzenegger said it. You're standing three feet across such a short distance to see who can hit harder and take the most hits. I don't know, it might be crazy, but I just think there's something here. The 26-year-old media personality said further. The Slap Fighting Championship event was streamed on two platforms, through Paul's YouTube channel and Facebook. Since it's still in the early stages, Paul promises that there will be more where the sport came from and will do more to work to promote the sport in the future. He even said that he used case studies of what is working as well as where attention is. He further explained that two countries are already putting slap fighting in practice, namely Poland and Russia, where the sport is growing. He firmly believes that this isn't a one-off thing, saying, I think after we see the attention and retention that we get on Saturday, I think we're definitely going to be back for more. The event, held last March 5th, was headlined by a super heavyweight title fight between David Zales Zalewski and Koa de Crazy Hawaiian Viernes. Zalewski made his debut at the Polish Punchdown League and is the current three time champion of Punchdown 2, 3, and 5. So far, the slap fighter has not lost a single fight, but fans are looking forward to his fight against the Crazy Hawaiian Koa Viernes. 2022 Slap Fighting Championship Highlights and Results There were a total of five fights during this year's Arnold Classic Slap Fighting Championship, which consisted of three light heavyweight division fights one fight in the women's division, and the super heavyweight division fight that served as the main event. The first fight of the event was the women's division, where we saw the slap fight between Adriana Sledge against Julia Cruiser. Sledge is a budding social media icon and has prior experience in the slap fighting competition, in contrast to Cruiser, who just made her debut at the event. In the end, Sledge's prior experience in the game was enough to win the battle by decision. Following the women's battle, the first of the light heavyweight slap fight was between Maximilian Lesniak and Nicholas Toth. The battle between these two men was pretty short, but intense, with Lesniak who managed to land a TKO blow to his opponent. Toth managed to stand up and wished to continue the fight, but the judge's verdict made him unable to fight, hence Lesniak was declared the winner via TKO. The slap fight between the two was so impressive that Logan Paul was seen open-mouthed at the event that unfolded right before his eyes. Paul and Schwarzenegger were both present and serving as the host of the event, with the former more excited at the prospect of standing alongside someone he admired. It makes me so happy to be here right now. My dad took me to the Arnold 10 years ago. It's so cool to be back here hosting the Slap Fighting Championship, Paul said. Their fight was followed by another light heavyweight battle, Matthias Kazek Kazmierzek versus Michael Kuczyk Kuczniski, which was just as intense and tenacious. Both men are formidable in their own rights, but there could only be one victor. The fight between Kazmierzek and Kuczynski lasted for three rounds, although they ran into a bit of trouble during the first round when Kazmierzek lifted his shoulder to brace for his opponent's blow. That earned him a foul. In the end, Mateusz Kazmierzek was determined as the winner after three rounds via the judge's decision. The last of the three light heavyweight rounds is the battle between Peter Alligator Truchlik and Karol Piccolo Wajalupek, which served as the main event of the said divisions. Both competitors refused to go down after exchanging powerful blows and even playfully taunted each other during the whole fight. Some spectators even pointed out that Truchlik developed a habit of pulling a comb and fixing his beard after receiving a slap. 
slap. The fight concluded with Peter Trichlik hailed as the winner. Finally, we have the main event between David Zalzalovsky against Koa de Crazy Hawaiian Viernes, which was also unanimously called the most intense battle of the night. These statuesque men packed powerful blows, and the fight suffered a snag at first since Viernes voiced out his concerns during the first round. He claimed Zalewski was pulling his chin down too low, an act considered illegal in the game since this is executed whenever someone tries to brace themselves for their opponent's impact. But it didn't end there. Viernes once again brought up another concern, and this time it's about the judges' nationality, claiming none of them were from the United States, therefore questioning the fairness of the fight. But at the end of the day, none of those concerns mattered since Zalewski didn't pull any punches and charged a full slap at Viernes, who fell headfirst into the table upon impact. He insisted that he could still fight, but the doctors knew better and declared him unfit to continue, which gave Zalewski a swift victory. The rundown at the Arnold Sports Festival. You may best remember him for portraying in the Terminator franchise, but Arnold Schwarzenegger first came to prominence due to his impressive physique that won him the Mr. Universe title at the age of 20. To this day, he is still remembered for his dedication to fitness, hence the Arnold Sports Festival is named after him, to pay tribute to his contribution to the bodybuilding community. The festival celebrates a variety of sports, which consists of professional bodybuilding, aka Arnold Classic, Strongman, aka Arnold Strongman Classic, Fitness, Figure, and Bikini Weekend Expo. The most awaited out of all these events is the Arnold Classic Pro Bodybuilding Competitions, but the festival is also home to over 60 athletic events, and now welcomes its newest addition to the roster, slap fighting. Logan Paul's involvement in the sport was expected, since he's been following slap fighting since 2019, where the sport is gaining popularity in Russia. It even came to a point where he declared that he'll participate in the championship round, but pulled out when rumors started spreading that his slap videos were staged. The controversial staged video of him pertains to the one where he slapped a 350-pound man unconscious. The video was part of Paul's preparation to join Slap Fight, where he uploaded it on YouTube and earned 22 million views titled The Slap That Changed My Life. The YouTuber narrated that the 350-pound man stood 6 foot 3 and claimed to be a slap master from the United States. Paul further stated that he just wanted to try slapping someone with an open hand since he's never done it before, but the man got knocked out instead. When he came to, the man claimed not to know who he was, which ignited Paul's desire to partake in Russia's slap fight. However, he had a change of heart after realizing that what the man experienced may also happen to him, and he opted to pull out of the competition altogether. Paul ended up losing $30,000 after paying for his team's visas, accommodations, and everything else, and said that he took $30,000 to the chin by canceling the trip. And that pretty much covers everything you need to know about the new slap fighting sport that Logan Paul is promoting. What do you think? Do you think slap fighting could be the next best thing in the sports industry? Let us know in the comments section below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like this. And we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.